Hello everyone, Leslie here. Um, I'm going to talk to you about some old stuff that I have. This is um, SEI. I've never heard of that paper company. This paper collection is called Moonrise. And this SEI is out of Logan, Utah. I don't know what paper weight this is, but this is heavy paper. Really heavy cardstock. Um, and it's it's really pretty. It's got foil, gold foil. I have a video about my paper obsession, which I've kind of passed it off onto somebody else. And you can check that video out here. Um, but I'm going to be using some of this paper that has really pretty gold foil pieces on it. And I like the orange colors. Now I have a bunch of tin cans and this was part of one that I had started and I painted the inside of the can it still when you put stuff in the paint will come off you know when you after a while when you put these in so I'm not going to bother painting the insides of these cans um, but I have I have two of this size I don't know what size these cans are this measures a little over five and a half inches tall and three inches wide. These two do. This one is a little over four and a half inches tall and it's uh, it's over three and three quarter inches wide. And then I have these two smaller ones and these are just regular size cans that you get vegetables in. Um, my plan is to put them together and I'm going to use them for my stuff. I want to eventually get this mess sorted out. Now this box, I cherish and love this box. Uh, my youngest daughter got married in 2005 and she and her husband built this box and it was given to everybody. No, I can't remember. It was either at the bridal shower or at the wedding. But I, I ended up getting one. They, they hand created this and it was just just like this just the plain wood they didn't paint it or anything and I've been wanting to do something with it so I'm not getting rid of this this is a keepsake for me but I need to I need to manage my junk so what you do if you haven't already done this if this is the first time you're doing something like this you measure each can has a ring at the bottom and a ring at the top. And what you want to do ideally is get your paper to fit between the rings. You can paint this. It's really easy. Just use your favorite color acrylic acrylic paint and and paint the rim, both the top and the bottom if you don't want if you don't want just the plain metal to show. I'm, I'm not going to get that fussy because this is really the first time that I'm doing something for myself and uh, all of the mistakes that I can make they're going to show up on this stuff and not on things that I want to send out to family. For those of you that like your hot glue gun I'm going to use that on this. Um, I'm right-handed so what I'm going to do is place the paper 
and then I'm going to glue from this side and and work this along this way. So I think I'm going to start with a strip there. to start this have to put a new one in there I put, put it against my chin push it down get some glue there and then some down here at the bottom and then work that on I think I better go down the thing as well. Put the ruler flat down and use my craft knife to score along the paper and uh, try not to cut my thumb off. While I'm doing it, oops, okay, so where's my mark, there, okay, now I'm going to save these scraps because I'm going to do a video on how to make scraps for your card making. All right. Now I'll get this piece glued on. Okay. Oh, there. Look at that. There's two pretty cans. Okay, I've used this dry adhesive. I put one strip down there and then and then started on either side of that strip and went around. Hopefully this will work better. And this time I'm going to be using this striped paper. So I'll take that off. Now this process is going to be exactly the same. Well, okay, I'm just going to go ahead and put that on and then come over here and then Okay, I'll add tape on here.
down. Okay, there. I have this white lace trim that I've had for a really, really, really long time. And I don't even know where I got it from. Hobby Lobby or, or Michael's. I'm not sure where I got it. And then I have these rhinestone things that I did pick up at Michael's for a dollar a spool. I folded the lace over a little bit. And I think I'll have to put some more glue on there now since I let that get cold. Stick that on. And then I'm running a little bit of hot glue out and putting a lace on just under the lid. right there and then put that down and then I'm going to use this stuff so I'm going to start right here just set this on ow 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 and then just like with the lace Gonna run some hot glue along and then follow it up with the rhinestone things. Then I'll look to see where I need to end this and then I just cut it off. Right there. Okay, and then and then just set it. Okay. And then all these crazy glue webs. And I'll put a picture of, of what it looks like finished. Okay, if you have found this useful, cans, food cans covered in beautiful paper. If you found this useful so that for your tools or whatever you want to use. If you liked this, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I appreciate you for coming by and watching my video. And now it's time for you to go show someone how special they are. And maybe in this instance, go show you how special you are. Make something nice for yourself. Okay, until later. Bye.